Who's your favorite person? do it Ava. Who's your favorite person? I bet I am when I got bacon here. Ready to go outside for all day? Let's go. Well guys, it's obviously a different land here now, uh, winter is, has finally arrived really, it's uh, really late for us here, and even though it's the third week in November, there's still not a lot of snow on the ground, which is great for, you know, working at my outdoor kitchen here, so, supposed to have a half decent day today, not a lot of wind, and probably about minus five or six degrees Celsius, so, not real cold, so I'm hoping to get uh, some nice bit of work done to my roof today. Possibly even get the whole thing done, depending on how the day runs. And days like today, I got to capitalize on because it's going to get cold really fast, no doubt.
So let's get at her. So a lot of you suggested I should probably uh, pre-drill my uh, the logs that I'm actually nailing on, which is a good idea. I thought about that. I just didn't think that I'd uh, it just take too much time or whatever. But I think it's a good deal to do it on the roof. I want it to be strong. I don't want the boards to split up there at all. The logs to split. So I just got this uh, three eight wood auger bit. So I'll pre-drill them. And when I put the logs on the, on the uh, roof this morning, I'm going to put. Uh, I'm going to alternate the, the lengths of the logs, so I'm going to have the butt in out here, the next log will be the butt in out that way, and I'll keep alternating. Oh, I just saw a rabbit. Little just chased a rabbit there. What'd you see? What'd you see, a rabbit? He's too fast for you, isn't he? He just plays with you, that's all. So right off the bat, I changed the bits, uh, the wood auger bit that I had there just wasn't sharp enough, so this one's working out way better. Okay, another thing I just decided to do before I got too far, um, I was going to put these uh, angle support uh, on this, on both sides here too, to keep the, the whole kitchen from going that way, you know, swaying. I was going to do it later on, but now I'm up there with putting all this weight up there. I think I'll do that now before I get too far along.
back here with my bracket. Here, bring that here, Hugh. Bring it here. That's mine. Always nice when snow falls down your face and down your neck. Not. All right, back up top again. Oh yeah, huge difference. No movement at all now. So I should have downsized my gear a bit, take off my down vest and my uh, fur hat, it's getting warm. Now I'm sporting the old Blue Ridge Incorporated, the outdoor store in Lewisport, Newfoundland, Central Newfoundland. Guys, if you haven't been there, go check it out. Big shout out to the boys there and the girls at work, staff and service for your hunting gear, fishing gear, all sorts of outdoor clothes, trapping supplies, you name it. The store is huge, expanded over the years. They've been doing it right for like 30 years. You should check them out. Blue Ridge Incorporated in Lewisport, Newfoundland. And thanks to Justin and Andre who gave me the hat. Thanks guys.
lost my hammer. one side done guys that wasn't too bad at all got the hang of it after a while got a little style at it and uh, got her done all came together pretty well one two three four one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five Ooh, I used a couple more logs than what I thought I would. I think I cut 51 logs all together. Hopefully I got enough for this side. Our pile is getting down though. We'll get close to it if we don't get it completely done anyway. But before we start the other side now, I think it's uh, time for something to eat. What do you Willow? Time for something to eat? All right. Birch wood smells so good. First starts up. A couple of moose T-bone steaks there. My buddy uh, Johnny Burke gave me in Lab City. Thanks, Johnny. They're going to go down well, and Willow gets the bone that you want. You're getting sleepy, are you? Sleepy pants. Make room for those T-bones now. Every time I cook out of a cast iron frying pan, I think it's about Wallace Vivian. He, uh, Wallace Vivian Adventures. Check him out, guys. He's uh, from eastern Newfoundland there. He got a little channel on the go and does a lot of outings. He does a thing called Cast Iron Wednesdays. I guarantee if anybody's going to wear out a cast iron frying pan, it'll be Wallace Vivian and his wife. They do a lot of cooking. Check him out. And on that note, uh, check out uh, our buddy there, Kirk North of 51, also from Newfoundland, the Great Northern Peninsula. He got a great giveaway on the go, and oh man, she's mounting up all the time. All sorts of stuff. I won't spoil it for you. Check out his channel. Uh, hopefully you haven't got his uh, prize winner picked yet before I get the video edited. Great guy, and a great prize to give away. Check him out, Kirk North of 51. To the last drop.
back to work. Oh boy, look at that sun. Boy, coming along smoothly. I got two logs left and they have to go on there. That's the last two that I'm gonna put on, I think. I had uh, another three there, but they were a little bit too short. I probably could have got away with it, but uh, but I think these two here will take care of it anyway. Well, that was the last log for the roof. The sun is starting to get a little bit low in the sky, but I got some time left, so I think I'll uh, uh, put a board up there now and cut them all up the same length, and uh, they'll be good for the day, probably. Hi. Come here. Hi there. <laughs> you too. I know. Yeah. That's the front done, guys. Now to conquer the back.
Oh boy, that was a lot of nailing today. Up and down the ladder. Looks nice though. Well guys, that's it for today. Had another wonderful day. I can't believe how warm it is for this time of the year, the third week in November. Out here with a ball cap on and hardly any snow really. So really grateful to be able to get at this for another day like this and get the roof on. That was a big accomplishment. Now at least the uh, snow won't gather the same underneath it and be easier to keep it open all winter long. And uh, I have to get some more logs and that'll be on a snowmobile now for sure. And uh, to start uh, working on the inside, again, I, I don't have a plan, but uh, I got a rough idea, and uh, yeah, we're going to pick at that as we go along. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching again today. If you want to see future episodes of uh, me working on this, then just like and subscribe, and leave me some comments with some tips, because I need pointers. I'm certainly no expert at this, that's for sure. And until the next video, take care. Here we go. Come on. Hey, little rascal. You little rascal. <laughs>